Children's rights have remained a contentious subject even as the government and children rights crusaders continue to fight for the respect of the minors. The recent case where a minor was detained at the Isiolo Level 5 Hospital for the failure to settle hospital bills only adding insult to injury. In the first place it is unconstitutional to detain uh, a person in hospital because they can't pay a bill. It is even worse when uh, you detain a minor in a toilet because the mother cannot pay uh, 800 shillings. Citing the constitutional provisions on human rights, the Law Society of Kenya Chair Eric Mutua called for action against the hospital management. Somebody needs to be arrested, somebody needs to be uh, taken to court and charged for that action. Uh, on top of that, the hospital and the administration, they need to uh, uh, pay some rep There's, uh, Criminal, uh, um, uh, like. The 14 year old boy was locked in hospital for five days over a pending bill before he was rescued by local leaders. Speaking at a three day regional conference meant to deliberate on the means of supporting access to justice for children and the youth in East Africa, acting principal magistrate Anthony Mushigi from the Milimani Children's Court noted that cases involving minors were on the rise, with child custody and support cases being on the lead. We have a much more increased uh, number of cases, and especially uh, custody and maintenance cases. So that uh, most parents now have realized that it is proper for them, or it is time for them to come in and, uh, and seek custody and maintenance for, your, for their children. Andrea Redway from the Canadian Bar Association said that Kenya has many challenges dealing with children's rights, an issue she attributed to the country's large population, thus the need to set up legal frameworks to protect rights of minors. There are many challenges in Kenya because the population, uh, is, there's such a large segment of the population in Kenya and in other countries in the re region are children and youth, almost 50% of the population as I understand it. And uh, so it's an immense challenge to ensure that uh, they get effective access to justice so that they can grow and cross prosper and contribute to the development of, of Kenya and, and the region.